Thank you. Hi, Walter. Nice cameo, by the way. <laughs> um, Thank you. My question is around the like financials of the show. So are you funding the show, or are you getting <laughs> kickbacks or royalties for the show? <laughs> 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 I'd like to know that too, Walter. I don't know. What, was, what would be the smart move? <laughs> if you don't know the smart no. move, who's going to know the smart move? Yeah. No, CBS have been extremely good and extremely generous on supporting the show and really grasping the idea of it's a celebration of intelligence. And we don't do enough of that anywhere, let alone on TV. And I think it's about, it's about time for that. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, Hello, thank you. Will Walter have a evil super genius nemesis? <laughs> that is like definitely he's applying for the job. Possibly, and you could play him. Yeah, you could be him. <laughs> Are you avails? <laughs> We've always talked about something that down the line that there could be somebody who was, you know, who is, you know, what it's known in his world as a black hat hacker. Um, who could be, you know, somebody who's definitely in that role. So it's something we've talked about. Good idea. That's a good question. The answer in real life is n not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Frightened yet? <laughs> the doors are locked. <laughs> You're trapped. Hi, my name is Teresa and I'm a teacher in Ohio and I was wondering if you have any advice for teachers on how to recognize um, the genius in students versus sometimes seeing them as Catherine did her son at first, seeing him as disabled, huh. and will that come out in the show? That's a good question. That's a beautiful mm -hmm. question. I think the show will help address, and uh, many people don't understand what IQ means and they overuse the term genius. I think the show will help understand that world a little better. I know for myself, teachers used to complain that I was slow because for every one question another kid would ask, I had 10 questions. Um, I think that the show will raise awareness and a better understanding of why these folks are the way they are, why their internal sounding board is broken, and why soft skills and social skills are so hard for them. Advice for teachers, unfortunately all kids are not the same. They can't be uh, taught the same way, they can't be treated the same way. And I think just recognizing that and telling them, you know, if you have a high IQ kid, it means you know, he's maybe one in 10,000. So if the whole school disagrees with him, there's a more than 50% chance he's right and they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He'll also only find two people in his life who can truly empathize with him. So it's, it's a lonely place to be. Uh, hi, my name is Anthony. Uh, first, I want to say that Patrick, like being in front of you, Robert Patrick, sorry, a little hey. nervous. <laughs> being in front of you right now, I'm suddenly like seven years old watching T2 for the first time and <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> so. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> um, Are you a scared? <laughs> a little bit. You should be. <laughs> I've slowed down a little bit. <laughs> but my question's for Catherine. Uh, um, <laughs> smart man. You are a very, very smart man. There you go, buddy. That's it. Oh, Come yeah. on, baby. Classic. Um, I, uh, I follow your music. I love your music. Oh, okay. So I was wondering what's it like <laughs> going from that to th something action-packed like this. Right. What, um. <laughs> I mean... You know, doing music and then... Well, these boys can uh, vouch for me. That I well, she of, sings I, in between takes I never all the time. Shut up. carries it through. <laughs> I really don't do it to be annoying. It's just I can't... It's can't beautiful. We it. enjoy it. <laughs> I don't think the crew enjoys it. I actually got shushed yesterday. The so. sound guy loves the it. The sound guys love it. <laughs> no, they said um, share. That's yeah, very kind of you. I'm, I mean, I'll still, you know, I'm, st I'm still working on music stuff, so... Is that all? Cool hair, dude. Nice hair, yeah. Very nice hair. I liked it. I think this is going to be our last question. Um, hi. I was wondering that when you have a show like this, how do you walk the line between celebrating the geniuses and making fun of them? 
If we make fun of them, Walter will kill us. Yeah. <laughs> be erased. <laughs> it's, it's, we, we talked about that a lot in the early stages. Um, the first time I sat down with Walter, the first day we ever met, within a few minutes, I felt that the show's hook was being one in 1.497 billion is lonely. And that's who Walter is. There's three people in the world that have ever scored higher on an IQ test than Walter. I'm sitting next to number four. Um, we don't want to make fun of those people. It's, it's difficult. It's challenging. Walter has described it sometimes in ways that makes it feel like a disability. So at no point it will our intention ever be to mock or make fun of. There might be humor in the inability to fit in or to adjust, but every, I don't know how many geniuses there are in this room other than Walter, but all of us have probably felt that way and we laugh at ourselves sometimes. We never want to take it further than that. that guys thank you so much for joining us for the panel and make sure to check out the, the show on CBS when it debuts this fall thanks thank you uh.